Hey, welcome to the Weekend Homestead. So we've been working on the house here and now we have one more space to go. Uh, we have the storage room on this side. Uh, we've got it all sheetrocked and, and uh, we're kind of getting ready to start finishing it, but I'm kind of at a loss of what we're gonna do with the space. So I'm requesting um, your help. You guys have had a lot of good ideas as we've done this remodel series in the comments. Well, here's my next one is I have a space. It's 11 feet wide by 21 feet long. This space back here, I'll take you on a quick tour and show you what we're gonna do there. I think I have that figured out. The question is, if I was gonna lay out a shop in a space that's 21 feet long by 11 feet wide, what would you do? So let me take you a quick walk through and show you what we're gonna do down here, some of the ideas that I have, but I'd love to hear your feedback, so we're gonna solicit and have you put it down in the comments below. Or you can send me an email to will at theweekendhomestead.com. So just to show you this space here, this is the doorway that you come through. This wall used to be open all the way across and we've now sheetrocked it to the point where we just have this opening here. If we look over this way, this is the door to the utility room where the water heater is and the furnace. And this will always have a door on it. The new door is in. We're taking the steel door out and putting a, a little bit nicer of a door and I got an extra one so we're gonna put it here. We'll use this steel door for the new outhouse. Along that wall, we have two electrical outlets. Along this wall, we have the light switch for this side and then two more electrical outlets. Um, I am considering putting a third one in between so you'd have one here, one in the middle and there. Uh, some of the restrictions that we have in this space, the ceiling, as you can up here, see the uh, heat vents. So I, I don't have the full height versus on this side where I do have the full height. Um, this wall right here, so from the door crack right there all the way over to there is 21 feet. And then from that corner there all the way across this way is 11 feet. All right, looking from the other side here, here's the uh, two outlets that we were just looking at on the wall. That's the mechanical room. That's the door that we just walked in. And here would be the wall that has the, the heat ducts on it. So again, 11 feet across here and then 21 feet to this space right here. One other item is I've thought about putting a countertop and cabinets on this outside wall. The only concern I have is this is the wall that had the water issues. You can actually see where we scratched out the grout along here and patched in. in. So far since we've done this, we haven't had any water, but I'm also very hesitant to put things uh, on the walls there. Walking through here, this is gonna be a storage room. So below this board, right down here is the sump pit. This will stay the sump pit. It's always going to be, on this side, you can see that green strip on the bottom. That's actually a water channel. This pipe coming out of the wall here is for the sump pump itself to pump the water out. And there's an electric outlet right here for that. So this room right here is pretty well laid out. Shelves, electrical, and then on the other side over here, uh, low voltage, shelves, the sump pump, some more shelves kind of along here, and then our uh, coat rack. Well, that's kind of just a rundown. I'm looking for your guys' feedback if I can. Um, the, we don't need a storage space. I know that a lot of people have come to me and said, oh, that'd be a great storage space. I've got a 15 by 10 room, so we've got 150 square feet of storage right there. We're gonna have a lot of shelves, bins, our you know, snowshoeing stuff will go in there, winter clothes, hunting jackets, you know, all of that kind of stuff can get stored over there. This space is not really a living space, but it easily could be a workshop or a place that we could gather to do projects, paint things, that kind of stuff. I just need some ideas on some layout or some things that you think are cool. I know that there's a couple YouTubers out there that are doing shop builds right now. Uh, Rango Star is working on one, and I've watched some of his videos. I will say he's got a pretty cool setup. Um, the only thing is, I don't think it would work well for me. His is very focused on woodworking and woodcraft and things like that. That's just not what I'm into. Yes, I'll have some woodworking tools down here to do some basic stuff if we needed to build something for the orchard or birdhouses or something for the box blinds or those kind of things. But in all reality, I don't foresee myself building a table and chairs or any kind of fine woodworking like that. 
it could be used for other projects like if we have a lawnmower that doesn't work and I pull the motor and I want to rebuild the engine those types of things I might bring my mechanics tools down here so we can do those types of projects Mrs. W said it'd be great for arts and crafts projects for the boys if they wanted to do something like that set up a volcano and you know do that whole thing or do seed starting uh, some of our plantings and trimmings and things like that since it's a nice cool space we could set up some lights and have a nice grow area I look to you guys to get some feedback I, I kind of think of this as the weekend homestead community space and all of you subscribers are part of that community space and your feedback is more than welcome I would love to enjoy this with my family I'd love to share it with you guys in videos as we get things done but at this point in time for the next two or three weeks I'm soliciting ideas either email them to me will at the weekend homestead.com I'll have the link on the screen here or my email address on the screen or the second option is just leave a comment in this video maybe some discussion can start or anything like that on different ideas but shoot some ideas to me tell me what you're thinking you know if it's simple ideas like hey don't do this or make sure you do that that's helpful too you know we did a pretty good job on the remodel on the house here it's I'm kind of stuck on this space it's an odd shape because we got the three doors I've got a wall that I had some water issues I'm kind of afraid to box in and frame in yet I just don't know what's gonna happen I've got this weird low height here that I have to deal with above so just some things to kind of think about but I'd love to hear your feedback again leave a comment otherwise um, I gotta get back to painting I gotta prime this whole thing and paint it this weekend so that's what I'm gonna go do now but thanks for the uh, any feedback that you guys leave looking forward to it I'm kind of excited to see what happens out of this space kind of leave it in your guys's hands and, and some of our ideas to put together and, and see if we can come up with something really cool thanks for watching